、あのー、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、Voice is fine. No music again. For, you know, reasons I don't want to destroy destroy my stream、uh, stream audio balance. If you want music, turn it on in the background. I think it'll be nice. I、yeah, just put on some,、uh, some non copyright music or something. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is. I'm going to write down what our literature review is because it seems like I haven't done it properly. Is I wrote it down on my phone. Let me grab that. Literature, literature review.、Uh, hone in on what other researchers have done in the past. Do it to find out if you are wasting your time. Yeah. Wait a minute, this is the wrong one, but it's fine. And this is also a way to allow your、um, present, presentees, no, viewers, audience, audience, to catch up their knowledge to the point of your presentation. So in this case, I'm doing a CubeSat presentation. So, what knowledge is necessary for them to understand a CubeSat and a Leo? So, in the literature review, I need information about Leo. I need CubeSat, CubeSat information. What else?、Um, payload information. Payload. Payload inform er, information. What else? What else?、Uh, let's see. Keep it simple. No. Let's see. Simon three, keep it simple.、Uh, Highlight your findings, but do it in a way so that you can apply them. Who, why, who, why did, who, and why did they do it? What did they find out?、Oh. <sighs> Skills advancement. Nope, nope, nope. Uh. Okay, that's all my notes. Well, I had a whole,、uh, what's it called? Oh, am I streaming the wrong thing? Oops. There we go. Um, where is my thingy? There it is. Yeah, so I had a whole Word document about, about literature review, like、uh, one page at least. And for some reason, I can't find it. It seems like I probably saved it on my school、uh, PC, but I tried to use a desktop anyway, which is a virtual PC. I couldn't find it. So I think I lost all the data, which is just sad. Oops. I need to get to work. Let's do some stuff. 
Okay, I'm gonna first write out my knowledge about my knowledge from the books actually. I've actually written up here, haven't I? Um Oh, I lied. I did write everything down. I'm I'm just blind. What? It's right here. All these red words, because I turned off the monitor. Because I turned off the monitor, and I typed everything out, and there's all these red squiggles, because, yeah. The reason I didn't realize is because I'm, I'm not usually using two pages at once. I'm usually using one at a time. So I just kind of didn't register in my head. Okay, what did I write down here? Uh... Wait, no, 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 this isn't, yeah, no, this is my own work, no. No, 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 don't, don't lie. Don't lie to me. I lie, I'm lying to myself. Yeah, I'm supposed to have more pages than this. But of course, I'm stupid. I like deleted all my work. Um, I'm gonna fix up my words here. <laughs> CSAT, have requirements, all of these vehicles, and directly beneath track of. How do I get a four in here? <laughs> Observation of. Magnetic field, belts, elliptical orbits, given for this reason. Simple sensor, of our regard. Atmosphere. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, this is what I got up to last time. Yep, yep, yep. And I still write ho instead of how. <laughs> Keep that information. Okay, let's go. Three problems and how to solve them. So I can pick. I want to pick one of one of these three, and then I want to uh, select a specific region. For each area, so we'll get well. I need to pick one of them. It doesn't really matter which for now. If I can't find any ideas, then I'll. I don't know. Climate action. Climate action. Climate action, greenhouse gas emissions, temperature increase. Well, climate change is way too large. Uh, we're mainly using data supplied from these satellites to understand the flow. Not the flow, but understand the increase or change in temperatures, average change in temperatures over a large area, and light pollution, stuff like that. So we need three ways of tackling one of these ideas. So I want to do temperature increase in, I don't know, global temperature increase? No, not happening. Temperature increase in this is specific area. So, the Earth's largest land masses and its north and south poles are warming the fastest, mainly because of differences in how these areas reflect energy from the sun. Well, the issue with using that one is that I can't use other um, determinant factors like light pollution and. Do, 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 do. What's the other one? Well, pollution from cars and stuff. I can't use that as a guide. So what I will do is choose another area. Which parts of the planets are warming the fastest? Climate models. No, that's not what I wanted. Climate change, global temperature. I'll have a look at this. About surface temperature, past and future. U.S. I want a specific region that's large. Maybe Oceania? Australia? 
Australia temperature change change uh, Australia climate Australia's climate has warmed since national records began in 1910. Australia's average temperature has increased on average by 1.44 plus or minus 0.24 degrees Celsius since national records began in 1910. Since 1950, every decade has been warmer than the decade before. Okay, this can be my introduction. Uh, don't copy it directly, of course. I'm just taking this information, grabbing it, and placing it somewhere safe. Introduction. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I will I will write it properly. Introduction. I love it when it does this. It just makes me want to retype everything. Australia's climate has warmed since Okay, I'll write this. The first records of Australia this temp or climate was taken in nineteen ten and since then every decade Australia's temperature has risen. It is it has on average increased by uh, from uh, by 1.44 plus or minus 0 0.24 degrees Celsius. How do you spell Celsius? That's the UK spell. Hope so. Celsius is needs to be capped. That's news to me. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Oh. It wouldn't be 1950. And since 1950, every decade, and since 1950, every decade, Australia's, yep, this is great. I need to take this source. Uh, um, um, is this a reliable source? Good luck, me. Good luck, me. <laughs> With the idea that we can take light or light pollution as population density, um, mission solution, mission objective, mission objective, no payload, payload objective. The there are three payloads we can use to find the to, to track to we can use to track why the in, there is why there is an increase in temperature over the past century. Yeah. Wow, it's been many years. Holy smokes. It's been many years since 2010, I must say. 13 years. I still remember my time back then. No, I don't. I lied. 2011. I remember 2011. November 11th very well. It was... Not a school day. <laughs> I just, I just really wanted to write 11, 11, 11 on my notebook, but then I realized it wasn't a school day, and I was very sad. So I wrote something down on the on the 12th of December 2012 on my notebook. I really wanted to write those dates down, you know. Anyhow, let's just let's not get sidetracked by memories. Memories are memories are the past. Past century. Where were we? Payload one. I can't. Payload one. 
we can use light sensors. I don't know what light sensor we use, but light sensors. My music stopped. Why did my music stop? Why did my music stop? There we go. This is still a shuffle. This is. Let's go back, sorry about that. Light sensors. Use of light sensors. We can see if there is a change in population density over an area. Sorry guys, give me a second. I'm sending a message. <sighs> okay, uh, of an area, this means that increases oh, in light usage will show an increase population over time. Increase in population. What else? I hope the stream doesn't suffer because I'm doing something in the background, like downloading something. But yeah, should end in a bit. Uh, where is my word document? There it is. Alright, I'm going to write down all three payloads. Payload 2. Uh, greenhouse and gas emissions. Greenhouse gas emissions detector. I don't know how these work, but... Uh, in low Earth orbit, I believe that this can help. This can work, not that it can help. Uh, payload 3. how much 
greenhouse gas gases are emitting, giving us information on how our ozone, ozone layer atmosphere is affected. Sure. How our, how Australia's, rather. On climate? Nah, not on climate. By climate? No, no, no. Payload 3, I'm still thinking of one here. Which, you know, it's not that easy to just think of one. I was thinking about something to do with... Well, ozone layers is invisible. Uh... Temperature sense, no. Something about population density, maybe. Agriculture. Uh, I need one more idea. It's so hard to think of ideas. Especially when you lack knowledge. That's the worst. No, 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 no. Can I think of anything? Let me go on the some web page, not web page, some uh some journal papers, something like that. Parachute. No, that's not the right one. CubeSat payloads, that's what I want. CubeSat payload in the C2 for monitoring of pentacense pentacene degradation due to atomic <laughs> oxygen and <laughs> What? <laughs> I can't read that. That's, that's, I don't even know what those words mean. Uh huh. Let's see what this one is. Six U cube set. I'm not looking for a six U cube set. What is Atox? Atox, atomic oxygen is the most abundant atmospheric gas species in the residual atmosphere between 170 kilometers and 700 km altitude. altitude. Its presence is due to the dissociation reaction of diatomic oxygen in the presence of UV solar radiation blocked by the atmosphere at lower altitudes. This seems like a good idea, now I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm gonna check out the actual paper. And then... We should be good. I'm gonna close these parallel parachute ones. Abstract. No. Introduction. I'm gonna uh, change my screen. Windows Capture 5. And then I will just... I'm gonna read it. I'm not going to say it out loud, I got very exhausted last time I did that. <sighs> Atomic axi- oxygen- <laughs> oxygen. Is considered as the most serious hazard to spacecraft materials in low Earth orbit. That's interesting. This will be part of my literature review. Uh, but is this pointing towards space? What is this supposed to do? Pentacene is a polymer of high interest in electronics that exhibit Sensitivity to AO etching, a specific variant, trisopropylsilylacinol pentacene, commonly known as TIPS pentacene, 
was chosen for this application because of its excellent processing properties, which includes solubility in several common organic solvents and good ambient stability. Since it provides mobility is comparable to those of amorphous silicon, this is a very promising material for new devices, such as organic field effect transistors, OF, OFETs, on flexible substrates. Now, let's find out what a substrate is. The base of which an organism lives, or over which is it moves, or, or over which, what? In the soil of substrate of oh okay I see okay understandable um oh cat one mission launch a nano satellite in compliance uh to the cube stat standard. This being an educational project in which some of the subsystems are developed by students. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted. Two initial payloads, an optical camera, and a Geiger counter. Oh, oh shoot! Geiger counter! That is actually a pretty good idea. I just clapped in the middle of my stream. I am going crazy. Uh-huh. Geiger counter, optical camera... Uh huh. Power consumption. The MEMS resonator. The MES, MES, the MEMS resonators used in this work also the consumption. Blah blah blah. Uh, nothing I need from this. Now I'm skipping over a lot of things. I just want information. Oh, MEMS. Yeah, I know what that is. Yep, yep. Hello, test. Um, look at that. Nothing much. Well, Halo 3 going account. It doesn't really relate back to global temperature increase. Light sensors doesn't either. It's a stretch, it's there, but it doesn't, you know. That, uh, light sensors could actually go back into greenhouse gas emissions instead of global temperature increase. Like, these, these effects all go hand in hand a lot, very much so. It's just that it doesn't work fully. You know, I think I'm going to try and ask my uh, supervisor about my ideas rather than me thinking about it on my own. Like, I am going to think about it on the side, but for now I just don't know what to do. It's just a complete mess right now. Like, I have information over here, information over there, my literature review is half done. It's just, nah, nah, you know, nah. <sighs> Water is better than Pepsi Max. Do you believe me? Uh huh. I don't believe myself either. Let's look at all these other sources. Okay, that was a good source I found, which was. which was uh, CubeSat manuals. Cube seat CubeSat manual. Uh. Darn. 
don't want to go into my outlook right here. Let me. Oh, you know, I'll do it on my other tabs. Cube set manual, 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 manual. Emmanuel. Um, where is it? Here it is. Cube set handbook. That's why. So I can memorize it. Uh, I will copy this link. Address. And open it over here. I believe is a pretty good source. There we go, perfect. Ebook Central. We love Ebook Central. Uh, I want to see the contents page. Bam, bam, bam. We're just gonna wait this one out. And in about, I don't know, a while I'm gonna end the stream. Maybe like 10 more minutes. 20 more minutes. Uh, let's see. Requirements, definition, user, mission, and system. That's pretty good. Mission cost analysis, summary, part two. This was the system. CubeSat keep mission. Oh, actually, this is pretty good, I'd say. Uh, CubeSat mission analysis and design. CubeSat missions and applications. Science instruments. Interplanetary CubeSat. Missions, interplanetary, no, distributed, CubeSat, mission concepts, constellations, and formation flying. Uh, new materials, new manufacturing, electric power systems, telemetry, tracking command, onboard software, propulsion system. None of these apply to me, like none of them I need. Assembly, integration, testing, verification, keeps that ground segment and operations. Nope. Getting keeps that no. Okay, so my main thing I need to read about is part two, I believe. Part two is good. Part three, possibly. I will start off with part two. Page 53. Yep, page 53. Also, cube submissions and applications. There we go. It's also on page 33, but that's fine. Uh, this loading is take a while. This plan of dealing, slice of mechanics. I'm gonna not read out loud again. Good luck to you all. Oh. This isn't what I had in mind, to be honest. Oh. 
I want to know the payloads. Oh, I was I in the wrong place? There we go. Uh, I should search up what a cot is. Oh, no. Um, uh, cots are uh, uh, engineering. Uh, uh, space. Oh, commercial off the shelf. Right, 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 yes. Of course, of course. Technology. Wait, no, where was I? <laughs> uh, yes, I was technology. Yeah, yeah. Space 4.0, let's go boys! And, and girls. And others. Uh, yeah. New world. It's gonna win. Um, applications and cube size specification by its engineer design and things and increasingly commonplace use in the space sector. Uh, so to cube sets becoming highly personal platforms. I like this application section. It sounds right up my alley. Uh, for my project. Oh! It says here, their lightweight aspect means they can be assigned as secondary payloads. Uh, this might be pretty good in my literature review. Like this section, talk about it. P-pod deployment, what's P-pod deployment? P-pod deployment. Poly Pico Satellite Orbital Deployer. Like the one that was in <laughs> Images. <laughs> I see. I think it just launches it out from, well, like a pee pod. When you squeeze on it. Further to the services technology. Um. There we go. Enhancing traditional satellite roles such as telecommunications. Sorry, I should talk normally. Telecommunications, observations of the Earth, and astronomical targets such as the Sun, galaxies, exoplanets, and many more scientific targets as alternative platforms for spaceborne experiments and laboratories, giving life sciences, pharmacology, material science, radiology, in other fields, access to space as an environment. As affordable technology demonstrator and proof of concept platforms, due to their low cost to develop and the possibility to use existing components, CubeSats have found a natural application as in, as in orbit demonstrators for several kinds of new technologies, cell cells, radio communication systems, and so on, and for demonstrating new mission concepts 
as payloads outside of Earth orbit to provide additional measurements or support for mothership spacecraft or to place instruments in advantageous orbits that would otherwise require dedicated launches. This, this right here, guys. Ooh, Mega Constellations, actually for prices. I definitely read anything. The section will analyze how the CubeSats have enhanced the concept of traditional satellite missions related to Earth observation, telecoms, and astronomy. Earth remote sensing. Earth observation. Yes, this is one thing I want, I think. And telecom. Not oh, astronomy. Space born. Technology. Deep space. I talked about Leo here. Keep that missions are not limited to. Oh, okay. Distributed instruments and constellation. Okay, so read one and two, I think that's enough. Astronomy. Uh, just do this one. Earth observation involves the use of either active or passive lenses to collect. So, <coughs> data related to a variety of different targets on Earth below, ranging from quite literally the depth of the ocean to the highest mountains, mountain and beyond to the atmosphere and magnetosphere, as well as the mantle and core. Typically, a CubeSat's small size limits the structure available for solar arrays to be mounted, and hence its power output is limited. This means the majority of EO CubeSats have relied on passive sensors that are collected, collected data from the, using the sun or the earth itself as a source and observing changes in the spectra received as it interacts with various parts of the atmosphere or surface. As will be discussed later in section 7, CubeSats' affordability and ease of mass, of, uh, ease of mass production encourage their use in constellations. Constellations are a group of stars, in this case a group of satellites, which are all connected with a network, which greatly improves the quality of data return for EO missions. Earth orbit, EO Earth orbit. Exocube is one example of the CubeSat specification being used as a platform to support dedicated Earth observation science. This 3U launched in January 2015 measured uh, where was I? measured the density of hydrogen, helium, nitrogen. 3U, 3U is an issue. We want a U, a single U. Well, three U on launch is fine, but U at the end. In addition to characterizing the ion density above various ground stations, as a CubeSat, it was capable of supporting all the instruments required for this and proved that such miniaturization is feasible for a CubeSat sized platform. Other examples of EO missions are reported in Table 1. Why does that music keep stopping after a while? Oh, deja vu, guys. The initial D song. Exocube 3U. That's the one I should. I should research like, all the 3U cubes. Uh, Rav Ravan. <laughs> Rav Ravan, Raven. Reflective solar and emitted thermal energy from the Earth. That's good. Um. Rain cube. Oh, I can, yeah, I can do. Can I do precipitation? Maybe I can do a uh, sea level. Payload three, sea level, sea level. Um, precipitation. Two U. There's a two U right. It carries an infrared spectrometer for. Measuring levels. Oh, perfect! Oh. Well, that, that goes on to payload 2, though. Spectrometer. Infrared spectrometer for measuring levels of green. Oh, is my greenhouse wrong? Let me sync properly. Oh, I want to type this.
um, the atmosphere. All of these are providing data for, well, people to use. And to be honest, I don't know much about Australia. I've never been there. The reason I'm doing it is because it has a relatively hot climate, I guess. And not many people care about the south southern hemisphere. So, uh, you know, send some stuff in, help them out a bit. I will read all of these, because these tables are so good. But uh, most of them aren't really useful for me right now. Um, I... Uh, someone in Space Lab. Space Labs are so cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, it's a 1U satellite. 3 Cat 1, 1U, 2018. Contains 7 payloads in a 1U structure. 1, 2, 7! Sheesh. Gunnerizing kind of performance of graphene field effect transistor. Eh, not really something. Is this Portuguese? Universidad Politecnica de Catalunya. Sounds very Portuguese. What is it? Cata... Catalunya. There it is. It's Spanish. Well, it's not. I'm sorry, it's not, isn't it? I'm get, I'm get, um... Cancelled for saying it's close. Spanish is close to Portuguese. <laughs> Due to a Barcelona attack. Catalonia. Disciplines in math and architecture. So Cat 3? Oh, Cat 3, it's Cat 3, isn't it? Why didn't I just click and check? 3 Cat 1, yes, my numbers were mixed up. So one new cube set. Okay, what if I also search up one new cube set? Because most cube sets. <gasps> oh, let's do that. One new cube set. Ah, oh, there's a lot of information here. You know, the, the database I have to work with is insanely large, and I love reading stuff. And sometimes there's just so much information you don't know which one to pick. Obviously you want to prioritize you know, 2022, 2020 research papers. Those are all good. Also, I don't know how professors have time to keep up with like research and still be able to have a lesson plan and teach everything. It's insane. I respect teachers. Um, oh, Berlin's University of Te Tech. <laughs> I would assume. There's a lot of words I don't know what it's about, but yeah. What I will do now is end the stream. I unfortunately have a stomach ache. I was going to end it soon, but not this early. Uh, I'm going to go to the toilet. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this on stream, but... Thank you for watching. I will see you when I make some good content. Bye-bye.